man. Stay safe, world. You already know what's going on. We got to talk about this situation with Jay Prince, Mob Ties, the whole Prince family, and how they have been running around Houston basically extorting or attempting to extort your favorite artist, man. This is one of the craziest stories, and it's definitely culminated in the death of Takeoff, which was two nights ago, man. It's some crazy shit, but when you understand the history of Jay Prince and his family in Houston, you'll totally understand so we gonna get right into it right now but before we do i'm gonna need y'all to like comment subscribe we gonna run up this video make sure y'all check out the merch link in the description if you haven't already make sure you subscribe we're trying to get up to 100k subscribers man so let's go man this tragic story of takeoff dying is one of the moments that sort of culminated in the internet realizing that something wrong has been going on in Houston for a number of years. And it took several high profile deaths for people to figure this out. The connection between all of these things is Jay Prince and his family, of course, man. So before we get into Jay Prince and the sketchy stuff that he's done, such as trying to extort NBA young boy deaths due to dice games and stuff and sort of sketchy things in the past, we gotta sort of go into the background of the family. So Jay Prince, he formed this label called Rap-A-Lot Records, which was a label that had Bun B, Pimp C, Zero, had Mike Dean, Juvenile, you know, like basically all the biggest people throughout Houston at all the times. And then now looking back on it, it kind of makes sense, man. So he basically owned this label. And then a, a, a couple of years go by, say like a decade or so. And then his label becomes dry and there's no real money in it. I mean, like they could have probably been using that allegedly for some type of means to funnel money into stuff from like illicit street businesses. But besides the point, the label basically goes dry. They haven't had a hit or an artist that's been hitting in a minute. They haven't even had an artist that has been hitting since like why be in the mirror. So since then, they've basically been dry. So where do they get all their money from? Extortion, man. They've been basically running around, extorting all the artists that sort of come into Houston, which definitely sort of points in the direction of how Takeoff could have possibly died and even them getting in that type of situation in the first place. But there, even before the Takeoff death, which was one of the like biggest tragedies this year in the rap world, who would have thought that a multi-millionaire platinum rapper would get killed at a, his own friend's birthday celebration? That's number one. Number two, like, he has a definite history of doing these type of things. One of the main moments that sort of occurred throughout this history was the NBA Youngboy beef that was crazy, man. Basically, a group of, I don't even know if it's kids, but young adults, maybe kids, broke into NBA Youngboy's house, right? Big Youngboy shit, man. And young boy shit. And young boy shit taking his shit, nigga. This young boy shit for real. You know what I mean? You gotta keep playing, young yeah, boy. This really just ass, bro. You really back here, bro. Hey, YB, nigga. Fuck your crib, nigga. We coming for all that shit. On the guys. And it seems like not a normal robbery because they know where everything is. They know where the keys to his cars are, the umbrellas and everything. And they break into his house. They basically steal the keys to his cars and all the shit that he has. And then he basically like calls him out, says, where you at and shit. And then all of a sudden those dudes sort of disappear. And then Jay Prince, the owner of rap -A -Lot records, who's supposed to be like a millionaire who has ties with Drake and multiple businesses throughout Houston comes to the quote unquote rescue and tries to save young boy. He says, hey, Mob ties, y'all invited. We gonna, we gonna party. We gonna party, man. And welcome the little homie to the city. And uh, you know, I can't wait. But on another note, on another note, while, while we was gone, um, 
I got a call, you know what I mean? Because the little homie, young boy, place got broke into. He went in his place, disrespected different things, and uh, you know, I got a call about it. And, and the little homies that went into this place want to make that right because they understand that, you know what I mean, a uh, young boy family is, is okay with me. And uh, as you can see, homie, to make a long story short, I got your keys to your Rolls Royce. I got your keys to your McLaren. You know, all that shit that they took. And the homie, Shakur, what you got, homie? You got your uh, Rolls Royce umbrellas. Hey, young boy, look, I know that you got some stuff taken from you, but look, we can be obliged and give it back to you. See, that right there is a major red flag because that is not normal. And then young boy basically disses him, says, mind your business. And he, he sees what I'm seeing. And that is a ploy for extortion. In other words, when people talk about checking in and going places and like gangs basically checking in on people, they're really talking about paying for protection, which is an old mob tactic that basically mobs do saying like, look, you're not going to get hurt or anything. You just got to pay this fee and then you'll be good. As you see, maybe they had previously asked NBA Youngboy to pay a fee or whatever or to fuck with them and then like basically maybe not paying money but paying exposure and clout, show up to these events, sort of like take off in Quavo and then you'll be safe in Houston, you know? And essentially NBA Youngboy wasn't going for that. He actually went and he dissed Jay Prince and in doing so, Jay Prince responded he was dumb and said that he like this is kindness and don't look at my act of kindness for weakness which is total total mob behavior i don't know if you've ever seen like those old godfather movies but those niggas were doing that shit all the time back in the day they were going to restaurants and stuff like that and then they would be like look nothing bad's gonna happen if y'all just pay up and then they do something bad to make it look like not like they're protecting you but in reality they're not protecting you from anything you're basically just paying for them not to fuck your shit up you know and that was just basically a very clear version of extortion then look at duke the jeweler man that was another incident that basically occurred in the houston area that i made several videos about but it have been getting big now because of this whole incident essentially duke the jeweler was a famous chicago jeweler that came out to houston and just like take off and Quavo in that type of situation they happen to tap in and check in with rap man aka J Prince Jr who was holding a dice game at the Boosie concert he probably pulled up to that dice game feeling like he was going to be protected that's why he was winning all this money and flashing all this money around people that look definitely like you wouldn't want to be having no money around and he was dolo so why else do you think this dude was dolo probably because he pulled up to Houston probably didn't know anyone asked to tap in with Jay Prince Jr. and those fucking dudes and then look what happened to him while leaving the dice game basically going to his car he was shot and killed for his chains and robbed man so this is the constant theme that goes around these type of people and Jay Prince and his son their whole ties quote unquote mob ties are basically an extortion racket and if you don't want to pay the fee and if you think it's ridiculous you don't want to even tap in with these dudes because it's like you pull up to their events and if you don't keep giving them money and code don't keep doing stuff you definitely are going to get like murked or something worse man and it's crazy so that basically leads to the takeoff situation man earlier in that night Quavo was basically seen riding around the fifth ward of Houston with J Prince Jr. And we sliding through the town, man. We sliding through the town. Now we get down. Got the birthday boy with me. Yeah, also. Yeah, we on the fifth. Yeah, the fifth ward. There's a video of them basically driving around with a gun on J Prince Jr.'s in his car basically and he's posted up unfortunately he didn't use that gun or maybe he did because later in the night there's a video that basically shows jay prince jr walking away from the scene of takeoff dying and him saying you see what happened don't ask me what happened as he casually walks inside it's a very sad thing man and it's definitely something that the world has to wake up to because this 
is definitely extortion because what if i told you that those dudes that possibly ended their life what if the whole there was a whole original motive that said that it was friendly fire what if that was just being said to cover up the mob ties people from getting investigated and they said that was his own person on top of that don't you find it kind of suspicious that they tapped into houston and pulled up and then at the party that you're supposed to be getting protection from these are the people that are quote unquote protecting people one of your people ends up getting killed and there's a whole disagreement and quavo's like man let's get out of here my theory is honestly that they were basically kind of forced to go to this party in an extortion attempt and this is their way of paying and they weren't trying to pay they did those dice games and then they ended up getting robbed for their bread and then they realized that the vibes weren't right and then in leaving that's when those niggas did some crazy shit and i guess that was their way of maybe saying that they didn't want to get extorted or didn't want to give up more money and shit like that and they were like out and then eventually this is what occurred man it was a fucked up situation for sure but it definitely is some sketchy shit when the mob ties group is always being seen with this type of behavior like there's never a positive light the only positive light that they really have is the fact that jazz prince basically discovered drake and drake was able to keep going but you think drake is not getting extorted by these dudes when he's in houston i would say that i think that he is and i think that they're basically trying to extort everyone and anyone that they can when it comes to being in houston paying for protection and stuff like that you know mob ties type shit which is you know at the end of the day that's the type of shit that you kind of see when you see like these labels that come from like sort of street level crime syndicates and shit like that but then when you look at like for instance academics cover of like the six dime trial he talks about how the fbi and different like groups from the government are basically inspecting and looking for clues against jay prince they even said that during six nines trial because he had a run-in with jay prince because of him not basically pulling up to a birthday party in honor which looking back at it is super scary because this is exactly what migos did they pulled up to a party jazz prince's party and that whole thing basically occurred like six nine was basically questioned by the police about if he knew anything about jay prince so obviously i'm not the only one thinking about this shit and in light of takeoff death it's just super unfortunate that this is the case and this is what happened but you know this is a sign that you should stay away from those people you know the mob ties people are no good and they're literally mob ties they treat it like a mob they haven't had a successful artist in their label for a minute now and they're just trying to milk the game through extortion you know shit is getting tough it all kind of started in 2020 that was when people started seeing it and that's when the pandemic was going on but you know that shit could have been going on for a long time Maybe that's the reason why all your favorite artists basically out of Houston are forced to sign to them because there's basically no other way around it. But, you know, let me know in the comments about what you think about this shit. Real say shit shit. You already know what's going on. If you got any more examples of them getting distorted and shit, let me know, man. Real say shit shit. You already know what's going on. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Peace.